Hello and welcome to my vlog. Wow, what a day I had. Um, today I went early this morning to see a girlfriend of mine who does my hair. And she lives here in Miami, Florida and in the building, uh, one of those condos. And here we are talking and she shared with me how the policy in her building is very tough. And this is the story she shared with me. She was waiting for a box to arrive. Uh, in the mail and when they do receive the boxes in that building they do not deliver before eight o'clock now that day she happened to have a lady who needed that box around six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning now here she's sharing with me the story and she is all like telling me with passion how much the rules and how the people are not nice in this building and all I could hear was that she has a hard time getting what she need in life now this is this is my mind and the person she was referring to in the building by the way is somebody that I meet there anytime I go and he's Spaniard, he speaks Spani uh, uh, Spanish, and when I personally go in the building, I always say hi to him, and we take five minutes of speaking Spanish, and I go up. And I ask her, I said, have you ever asked yourself, why is it that you're living here in this building for so many years, and yet somebody who is right here in the building supposed to work and support her, his work is to support you and yet when you come and need something from him there is a wall and you feel like he's not being a human she's like yeah I've never asked myself that I say well because what I see that was present for me is that most of the time we look at people in our lives that are their work is to serve us we end up seeing them as that service and not as the human that they are she stopped and she said wow you know what i am somebody who always said i'm very easy at putting myself in people's shoes but I think I don't do it. I only do it when I need to. Say, so, yeah, look at that. Because this is what I see. I, myself, Awa, when I live in the building, it's out of the question that I need something from another human being that is like a family who is there every day and that we cannot communicate because this is what the communication will look like with awareness. Let's say the guy's name is Carlos. Hey, Carlos, what's up? How are you? Oh, by the way, how is your wife? She got the baby? Oh, okay. Carlos, I have a box that's arriving. Did you get it yet? No. Okay, well, when it arrives, honey, sweetheart, I need that box earlier. Do you mind? No, I'm sure you see that Carlos is not working for me. Carlos is part of me. When I give her that example, I said, is this how you talk with him? Is this who he is to you? She said, no. I said, well, maybe that's why you're not getting what you need. <laughs> because this is what we do. We talk to the people in our lives whose work is to serve us, which is a blessing that we have people saying yes to those work, which is picking up our garbage, giving us our mail, cleaning our cars, and the list goes on and on and on. And they had said yes to that job. And now we see them as that job, and we forgot the human behind it. This vlog is to reconnect with those humans who are every day in our lives, picking up our garbage, giving our boxes, 
and to invite them as a family, to look at them differently, to know their name, to know their situation, to say hi. It is so sad that we need to be reminded that we have to tip them once a year on Christmas. What they need is not the money. What they need is us being human with them. For today, let's stop seeing them as the work that they say yes to, but the human that they are, the brothers and sisters that they are. God bless them for the job that they took and up and say they were going to be that support to us. That's my part of sharing today. And I hope you see yourself in it and start calling those people into your lives and introduce yourself again. Okay.